I've got some very good news. Both of these noise cancelling earbuds prove that you don't have to spend a fortune to get a big brand. One set is from Sony and the other set is from Technics. This video is sponsored by Technics, but don't turn it off or start typing nasty things in the comments just yet because Technics are, well, they've set me a bit of a challenge, which is my honest appraisal on these versus these. Technics are confident that these beat the Sony alternatives hands down. And the result, without giving anything away, isn't quite as simple as that. But there are markets for both of these earbuds. They do have names, by the way, so the Sonys are the WF-C700N and the Technics are the AZ or AZ-40M2. But for the rest of this video, Technics, Sony. Let's get into the details. And once again, if you think Technics are going to get an easy ride just because they're sponsoring this video, think again. Let's do a quick spec comparison between these two earbuds. Driver unit, five millimeter, six millimeter. Frequency response, 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, 20,000 hertz to 40,000 kilohertz. Bluetooth, 5.2, 5.3, and they both have a 10 meter range. Multipoint connectivity, two devices, three devices. Waterproofing, IPX4 on both. They've both got active noise cancelling and ambient modes. Battery life, the Sonys have a maximum of 20 hours with the case and noise cancelling turned off. The earbuds get 7.5 hours with noise cancelling on. The Technics get a maximum of 18 hours with the case and noise cancelling turned off. And the earbuds get 5.5 hours with noise cancelling turned on. Quick charging, the Sonys get one hour from a 10 minute charge and the Technics get one hour from a 15 minute charge. Supported audio formats, the Sonys are compatible with SBC and AAC and the Technics are compatible with SBC, AAC and LDAC. UK pricing at the time of filming is $129.99 for the Technics and $79.99 for the Sonys. Now, the spec conscious among you may have decided straight away which pair is for you because you may need a certain amount of battery life, you may need a certain audio codec supporting, but if you're still, in fact if you're still watching now, keep watching, even if you've made a decision, because there's a, there's a few things you need to know about these two earbuds. Let's get straight into what matters for me, which is sound quality. And as always, I tested these straight out of the box with their standard EQ. I know that isn't always that popular, but I want to hear what these earbuds sound like in terms of what the manufacturer intended. You can EQ both of these. It's worth mentioning that they, they both have their own apps that you can use on Android and iOS. So you can tweak the sound as you wish, but my testing was done totally stock. Starting with the Technics, it's a very bright sound. It's not piercing, it's not too harsh or shrill. It's just, it's a very Technic sound. I think I mentioned this in previous Technics earbuds reviews where it's like you're listening to a hi-fi, which I would expect from Technics. They're known for their hi-fi systems, for their hi-fi sound. Again, I think I said this last time, it reminds me of my dad's hi-fi systems, which were always you know, fairly expensive. You, 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 you tend to go for the for a decent Technics. And this is what these sound like. You don't get loads of bottom end and Again, that's not a Technics thing. These aren't a pair of you know, Beats earbuds, for instance. They're, they're meant to work across a broad range of music styles, and they do that very well. By comparison, when I got the Sonys out of the case and first listened to them, it was really unimpressive, to be completely honest. It was a very thin sound, there was no body to it, very little width. It had this presence, this mid-range boost, which was just a bit unpleasant. So I thought, hang on a minute, that, that doesn't sound right. So I changed the tip. I went for the, I think the large size here, and that improved things actually. That made things quite a bit better. That mid-range settled a little bit, and more importantly, the bass appeared. There was actually some bass there to speak of. That said, immediately these Sonys are not as wide or detailed as the Technics. They're just not. I think some of that must be down to the driver size and the frequency response. So just as, as a reminder, the Technics have a one millimeter bigger driver, which doesn't sound like much, but it's it's quite a lot in this size. You know, in this sized audio device, that's quite a lot. And equally, the Technics have 20,000 extra kilohertz to play with over these. So that is inevitably 
gonna, going to affect the sound between these two earbuds. A great example of this is when I ran my headphone killer test track through these. That is Breathe Again by Pop Evil. Go and check it out, it's fantastic. I still haven't been invited backstage or to or to any of their gigs or anything, but I'm not, I'm not bitter about that at all, but it's, um, it's a brilliant piece of music for testing earbuds because it's very compressed, which doesn't mean it's rubbish, it's just a very compressed record. There's loads of stuff going on and it really separates the wheat from the chaff. There's a big difference between how these two earbuds cope with that song. So the Technics dealt with it. They didn't deal with it as good as some earbuds, which that's partly down to the pricing, obviously, but the the Sonys were just so harsh. That mid-range, it, again, it came out of the woodwork. It was just a very boxy, in-your-face sound, which wasn't particularly pleasing to listen to, whereas the Technics, they just got on with it. Oh. That was weird. And at the other end of the spectrum, the same thing happened. So Adele's Easy On Me, which is this beautiful piece with just her voice and the piano. Again, it needs a good pair of earbuds to come alive. The Technics came alive during that song. It was just a, a joy to listen to. Her vo vocal was very, very clear, very present without being too harsh. These... <sighs> it just became tiring very quickly. Now, unfortunately, this has been my experience of headphones and earbuds from Sony of late. The sound is just a bit subpar, and it's so it's so annoying when they made the XM4s, which remain, they, they remain my favorite headphones of all time. They sound great, the noise cancelling's fantastic, everything about them's brilliant. These, you know, the Sony, what are they? The, the WFC700Ns, they, they could just be so much better. These don't sacrifice the audio. I think I think these do. On to noise cancelling, and they're pretty much the same. The Technics go a little bit quieter, but you have to really A-B test the two. No one does that apart from us tech reviewers. The hiss is there on both of them. You do get a bit of hissing, which you're not going to get Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra levels of noise cancelling here. That's impossible at this price point. They're both good, though. They both do a good job. They both have enough passive noise cancelling anyway with the, the seal that you get with the earbuds. When it comes to the ambient mode or the pass-through mode where you let the outside world in, the Sonys are slightly better. It's just a bit more of a natural sound, which does make these better for telephone calls. They both do well when it comes to calling. No problems on either front, really, in terms of me hearing the other person or the other person hearing me. There was no issue there, but the Sonys do have a slightly better ambient mode, which means hearing yourself is just a bit clearer. It's a bit cleaner, but it's not, it's not terrible on the Technics, the Sonys are just better. So we've done sound, we've done noise cancelling, we've done the pass-through mode, let's get on to the design. Let's start with the case, because if you know me, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with headphone and earbud cases. It's a tie. I mean, look at them, they are tiny. These aren't annoying in any way, shape or form. The Sonys, I prefer the design slightly, it's this kind of pill shape design. It just fits a bit easier in your pocket, I find. But they're about the same size, roughly. The earbud design is pretty much identical. The, these aren't stem earbuds, which isn't my favourite type of earbud. I like to have something to play with here. You know, I, li I like having the stem to kind of fiddle around with when I'm putting it into my ear and to have the controls and stuff on. They are amazingly similar. They feel very similar as well. The, the Sonys are a bit more plasticky feeling compared to the Technics. The Technics, again, have that kind of hi-fi feel, whereas the Sonys are very much a pair of Sony earbuds. That's not a bad thing, it's just a, a slightly different design approach. Comfort-wise, they are incredibly comfortable earbuds on both accounts. I've had no problems with these staying in my ears. The one thing I'm not keen on when it comes to the Technics is the choice of control, which is touch. I just don't get touch controls on earbuds, particularly earbuds that have no stem, because the problem is you put them in your ears and you keep pressing the button by mistake and you start playing things, you start turning noise cancelling on and off. The Sonys, by comparison, have a proper button and it's a very nicely designed, nice and big, but not it's not too easily clickable, so you don't click it by mistake every time you try and put the earbuds into your ears or readjust them. If I had one request for Technics in the future, it would be to go down the route of a button rather than a touch control. It's just so much more convenient. When it comes to convenience, the charging, the battery life, they're both on a par. I know there's an hour or two in between them in terms of the, the maximum time you can get out of them, but it's negligible, really. I, I don't think you're going to notice a difference if you A-B test these over a couple of days. I think they're going to be 
absolutely fine in terms of battery life so that's good the one thing that is there's a, there's a definite differentiator between these two is the multi-point connectivity and if you're not aware this is when you can connect these to multiple devices and rather than having to keep pairing them and faffing around with that they connect immediately once you switch between the devices. It's very convenient. The Sonys can connect to two devices at once. The Technics can connect to three devices at once, which again is, it's not unheard of, but it's certainly very unusual at this price point, and it's very convenient. So if you have, you know, your laptop, a tablet, and let's say a phone, which most of us do, you can connect these. You can pair the Technics to all three of those devices once, and then switch between them seamlessly. It's incredibly convenient and a, a brilliant thing to do at this price point. Let's get to my conclusion. Okay, let's wrap this up. These earbuds have very comparable noise cancelling, but the Sonys do have a slightly better ambient mode. The fit, the finish, the quality of the case, the comfort factor, the battery life, is all very comparable. But when it comes to sound, the Technics, in my opinion, win hands down. Now this is very subjective, it's the most subjective part of any headphone review because we all have different tastes and you might be a Sony person, you, you might love the recent Sony sound. I don't, I'm sure there are people out there who do. It's just not for me. I prefer the, the hi-fi sound of the Technics and there's no competition. However, as I always say when I'm comparing two big brands, you get Sony people and you get Technics people. And if you sit in one of those camps, you've made the decision already. Equally, you may not sit in one of those camps. And if that's the case, I hope I've helped you today choosing between these two earbuds. But I'd love to know what matters to you get involved in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a cheeky thumbs up. It helps the channel massively. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do. And while I'm asking you to do things, I might as well say, hang around for a link to another video that I think you'll find very interesting.